Hey guys, it is Wednesday here in the Philippines and it's the last day of June, so it's the last day of the second quarter of the year. Yes, we're already halfway through this year and I am doing my second quarter top five. So this is kind of like another semi-finals to get us down to the finals at the end of the year. So the guys that won the first semi-finals of the first quarter are these five black cars you see here, the men in black. Um, as you remember, if you watched my first top five, we picked these guys. They were all black, Euro with uh, a couple of JDM. So half Euro, half JDM. Uh, one being the SUV, <clears throat> Pajero from BM Creations. Then we had the John Player, uh, Liberty Walk, Silhouette kit with the six spokes. That's kind of what won its place are the six spoke wheels. And then we had the Bentley GT3 test car. Just love the sinister look of this car. Then we had the Merc 190E street version in black, metallic. Then we had the Yan Lee. Putman W or Pullman, sorry, Pullman W100, something like that, 600, SEL, uh, limo. So these are the top five for the first quarter. Very beautiful car from Yan Lee. Love this Merc limo. And usually I'm not really a Merc guy or a limo guy for that matter, but that one is just killer looking. So, <clears throat> what I'm doing different today than what I did the first time around is just, I brought you these five cars out and said, hey, this is what we're picking, and these are my favorite from whatever I got during the first quarter. Well, what I did today is I brought you a whole parking lot full of cars. These are the cars that we reviewed and unboxed over the second quarter. A couple cars that I would have liked to have brought out they wouldn't have made the cut anyways, but I traded them off, well, sold them to buy other stuff. One I'm going to replace. I just wasn't happy with the paint. That is my Merc, um, the slammed Merc 280 um, SEL from Hot Wheels. That car I do love, love that casting, and it would have probably been very competitive with the other Hot Wheels cars in this group, but as I said, just the paint and that headlight that was misdetailed, just couldn't get over that, so I offed it, and I will get another one eventually to replace it. The other one that I sold that should have probably been in this group and this parking lot was the Fast and Furious, um, Mer not Mercedes, but the BMW M3 E46. That one I liked, but I just couldn't get over those turquoise wheels. That's just not my cup of tea. But I do have the blue one coming from the new Euro uh, set that they released. So that one may actually make it into... Actually, I can guarantee it will make it into the parking lot for the third quarter semifinals. But not sure if it will win or not. So... Besides those two, this is pretty much as I see it, the cars that should be here. One I put in our uh, thumbnail photo that probably should not have been here. It's this guy here because this is an older release. And as I said, with what I pick, I'm trying to keep it uh, from late 2020 to 2021 when it came to first quarter finals, semifinals. Now, with the second quarter, I'm trying to keep it predominantly things that were released during 2021. So this car, I just put it in the thumbnail pick because it was new for me. Um, but it's actually a 2019 release from a Japan uh, hobby shop, the LB Hobby Shop. So that's why he's out here, but he really shouldn't be because I screwed up and put it in the photo that I took for our thumbnail. So he's not even like a contender in this lineup. The rest of them, on the other hand, are. Uh, there's probably a few other ones that should have been out here, but as you can see, the parking lot's full. I even had to steal some space from Mr. Norm for this event. So, anyways, guys, as you see, we have a lot of great cars here. We have stuff from M2, 
We have stuff from Auto World, Mini GT, and more from M2, Hot Wheels, Eno 64, Hot Wheels, Tarmac, Par 64, uh, and then more Mini GT, Par 64, Auto World, and then even Shuko, Auto World, and then Hot Wheels, and then Mini GT. So, that's what we've narrowed it down to. So we have a lot of good contenders here. Sorry, Green Light did not make the cut for anything this time around. I haven't gotten a lot of new stuff from Green Light lately, so they did not make the cut. Same thing with Johnny Lightning. Unfortunately, they didn't make the cut either with anything, but maybe next time around they will. So, anyways, as I said, you can see some great-looking cars here. They all deserve, like, a spot in the top, well, probably 100 for 2021 by the time we're done. But what I'm trying to do is do five from each quarter. So, at the end of the year, we'll have 20. And because it's 2021, at the end of the year, I'm going to go and look at all of my past videos throughout the year and pick a wild card. Just throw a 21 in the mix then out of those 21, we will narrow it down to a top 10 for the entire year. So just because these five from the first quarter are here and these five we're going to pick today doesn't mean they will make it into the top 10 for my final cut. Now, the 20 that I did for 2020, that was my first time doing this. This year, I'm doing it a little different. I'm going to narrow it down to 21 cars for the year and make it even or make it fair doing semifinals and things like that for each quarter. Then we're going to narrow it down to 10 at the end of the year. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyways, let's go ahead and I will show you the first one that I pick for this year and tell you why. Or for this quarter, sorry. Keep wanting to emphasize on the year, but it's not. This is for the second quarter from March, the end of March to the end of June. So, these are cars that I've obtained during that period of time. First one being that we're going to pick is the Riv. This 64 Riv is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, some of these cars you may be able to guess which ones I'm going to pick because the way that I really bragged about the car during the videos and such and this was one of them when we were unboxing a lot of cars in the one Mattel video this car I kept bragging on like how beautiful it was how much detail they had going on with the window trim and everything the true to scale this maroon metallic paint is gorgeous and actually, this is the first time this car has been released for retail. Now, with the thanks of uh, Graham giving me some insight, and I actually remembered the car after he mentioned it, was uh, from Comic-Con. I think in 2016 or 2017, they did a Comic-Con Star Trek car for Spock. And it was actually Spock's real one-to-one -one rib. And he was sitting on the hood of the car, and it was black and it was a very beautiful model and a display case and I am going to try to track that one down once I get back to the states the set with this one but um anyways that's when this car first appeared it was back in comic con and then since then it never reappeared again until this recent boulevard series and as you can see they've done a fabulous job with grill detail headlight detail all the trim around the windows, on the hood, everything. This is more like an RLC release than just your standard like Hot Wheels. You can see the rib emblem, the trunk lock, trim around the tail lights, not just tail light detail, but the trim to kind of break it up from the metallic red paint the beige interior, the rolled up windows. The only thing that they could have maybe detailed a little more would have been like the vent window trim and then the quarter glass trim. But at least they like etched it into the window bucket. So this is really a nice piece from Hot Wheels. Highly impressed with it. Plus I love the early 60s ribs. Uh, it's like a luxury muzzle car in my book. So really dig this car. And this is the first of my top five for the second quarter. Now, the one that was 
going to be its competition was the Merc 280 SEL from Hot Wheels and then also the uh, Beamer E46 and then this little guy here. And this guy, I know I mentioned he would probably make the cut, but unfortunately he didn't make the cut. But it still is a damn nice car from Hot Wheels, the Volvo Amazon wagon, the slam stance where it's almost dragging the ground. That's why there's no detail on this chassis because of how low it sets. Awesome little casting. So this one almost made it. Almost. But not quite. So... The other Hot Wheels cars you see setting here, unfortunately, did not make the cut. This is the only Hot Wheels that did. The Riv. He made it in my cut for the second quarter. So, these other ones, they're nice, great, and things like that, but just didn't have what it took for me to pick it for the top five. So, secondly, <clears throat> it comes to us from Par 64. This is an absolutely amazing car from Paragon Models, Par 64. The Roof Yellow Bird 911 Turbo. This is a really nicely done car. They did a fine job. They even put the 935 mirrors, everything. And it's extremely nice. It even has the slim body look, the Carrera look, everything is perfect on it. The red acrylic tail light lens and then your acrylic headlight lenses. The wheels are beautifully done. Screwed together casting. Plastic base but still yet fabulous looking car. And I did bring out the black one too because it's really cool really dig the black one actually i prefer black over yellow but because of the name of the car and because the yellow highlights all of the beautiful details from par 64 i had to pick this one so this is our number two for the top five so as you can see already we're much more colorful for this quarterfinals than the last time the last time it was all black so so far we're doing it pretty colorful. Next on the list <clears throat> is one from Mini GT, of course. As you can see, there's a ton of Mini GT cars out here, but there should be. They do excellent stuff. Uh, very rarely do I have some complaints. Like this guy here, I do have a complaint with it, with the paint, as I pointed out on this door. There's a little bit of fish eye there, and then a little bit of... I don't know if that was like oil in the paint or if that's like just orange pill or paint rash or what it is, but that's the thing that I had beef with on this one. And then as you, I pointed out on their Indonesian police um, Land Rover, the Crooked Light Bar, that's kind of why none of the Land Rovers are out here for like 4x4 SUV type things. Um, because the Land Rover, well, we picked it for our 2020 final and they're all pretty much the same different paint colors and such um but I, I mean a lot of cars that i have out here are just different paint jobs but anyways just none of the land rovers really popped for me except for the dirty camel trophy but it had an issue with the paint pilling on the tires so that was one reason i didn't pick him and then the indonesian police was another one that popped for me but the crooked light bar didn't even get them a place in the parking lot, unfortunately. So it's not that Mini GT is like untouchable and perfect all around, but they're pretty damn close. So moving along, let's show you the Mini GT. And that is this 911 here. This thing is absolutely beautiful. This very nice car, uh, kind of like the Par 64. The wheels are spot on. Paint jobs, beautiful. This metallic silver. Acrylic headlight lenses, acrylic tail lights. Uh, the one thing Mini GT has over the Para is that it is metal on metal, and it is very nice. Nice car. So, <clears throat> that is number th three. So, number four is one from Auto World. 
and it is another America muscle car. And that is going to be my Challenger Scat Pack in B5 Blue. It was a little bit hard to decide if it should be B5 Blue or the black one, but because of the nostalgia of the B5 Blue and the popularity amongst Mopar guys of the B5 Blue, I had to take it. Although the black I kind of like a little bit, better but I do dig B5 blue. It is one of the only paint colors that I know that people call it by the paint code. Most guys always refer to like the names of blue like the Chevy blue that's most popular marina blue we just say marina blue. Um, so this is well the B5 blue so I guess it's better than saying like medium blue poly so I guess that's what it's called or dark blue poly or light blue poly that's why there's B5 blue there's B7 blue and so forth I think the B5 is medium or dark but cannot recall just remember B5 blue so this is a killer car Details are perfect, the wheels are perfect, the wide body, flares look great. Only thing that's lacking that would have made it a little better are mirrors. That's the only thing that would have brought this casting to life a little better. Tail lights, even though they're painted, they look really good. They did a nice job on them, the Dodge Emo in the back tail panel. And then custom plate, scat pack, pretty cool. Even the headlights... Because the headlights, I mean, it's not really that big of a headlight. So the painted silver and the silver trim center lights, that's fine. So very nicely done piece. Absolutely love it. And that's even what I mentioned in the first quarter. If I would have had the Dodge Demon, like from Miho, that was released that I was supposed to get, but it didn't make it here. I don't even know if they ever did make it to the country. It would have probably been the only yellow car out of all those black ones because it would have probably replaced probably the John Player uh, GTR. But because it wasn't here, well, that's why it didn't make it. These are just, this top five is based on what I have in my collection at my disposal. Now, there are sometimes other cars that I would like to have, just didn't have the opportunity to get them, and they would have probably made the cut before the ones that I'm picking. But just don't have them so they don't make it i don't pick them because i don't have them so now last but not least once again is a mini gt car and it is a very nice piece uh that is your supra mk4 although it really wasn't a supra it was Custom VIN, and they made it the 3000 GT, the TRD 3000 GT. It really wasn't even registered as a Supra on the title. So, anyways, that's what we got, but it is an MK4 Supra. Um, very sweet looking car. Uh, that's why I like the wings on these cars look like the silhouette kit wing that's standard. Uh, on the silhouette kits on the GTRs from Liberty Walk. That's why I brought this white one out again, because of the cool looking wing that's just different from all the rest. That's why the John Player one won, because of the six spokes. It was just different. It had that unique feature that makes it stand out from the rest. That's like this guy. This guy was very debatable if he was going to take the place from the scat pack, but because I'm a Mopar guy, I had to put a Mopar in this one. And I just picked one of those silhouette kits last quarter. So, he came close, though. He's probably number six if I was picking a top ten. That would have been number six. And that TRD wing, as you can see, well, not on that one, but on the SEMA, like, pandems, but even all the pandems, they kind of do that with the MK5. They kind of represent that TRD type wing, which is pretty cool. And this is another cool piece, the SEMA exclusive. And then you have just your regular MK5, which is pretty cool. But unfortunately, neither one of the MK5s. Actually, I even had the silver one out here, which is nice too. But it did not make the cut now there's a black one coming up with your typical pandem wheels that you see on the gtrs the silver rim with the gold center which that one may make the cut for 
the top five in quarter three, but we'll see what happens. But this 3000 GT is beautiful, the Supra MK4. I just call it a Supra myself, but if you want to get really, really picky about it, the ones released from Toyota were not even titled as a Supra. They were just titled as the TRD 3000 GT. That's why even Mini GT never put Supra on the box. So, that's a little brief thing that I found out about this car when reading about it. But just love the look of this body kit on the car. The vented fenders, that vented hood, it looks really cool. That different style spoiler, it's not much, much different, but it's different enough to make it look just a little bit more badass. These stock wheels for the TRD look really good. So, yeah, absolutely love this car. So both Mini GTs we picked for this quarter are both silver. So, now let's go over here and set this up right. So we'll put the two American cars together and scoot the Porsches over here. So, now for manufacturer dominance, Europe does it again. This time with Porsche. Last time it was with Mercedes. So, yeah, the German cars are kind of like actually making these, um, I don't know, other cars like JDM and American, uh, not make them look bad, but they're kind of putting them to shame in my picks. And it's, as you guys know, I'm not a huge Euro fan. By that far, if anything, I'm more of an Italian car fan than German car fan. But hey, you got to take hats off where it's due and hats off to these German cars, these Mercs, these Porsches. They're gorgeous. So anyways, but we do have two American cars now in the lineup and we got another JDM in the lineup. So we're down to 10. We've got two Mercs a Bentley, a GTR, a Pajero, a Supra, two Porsches, a Scat Pack Challenger, and a Buick Riv. So guys, this is it for today's video. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think maybe should have made it instead of these. We have a bunch left over here. So, and even some that I didn't bring back out, like the Lamborghini Aventadors, the gray one and the yellow one. But since they're not really retail released, just a few of them got leaked out of the factory. That's why I didn't kind of bring them out. But they were in my picture. And actually, I do have them setting off to the side. I just didn't put them in the parking lot because I ran out of room. They're right here. So they were a couple other ones that could have been potential winners, but they were um, available in black and blue in the first quarter thing. And I think even one of them I had at the end of the year last year, and I think they the black one did make my final cut for the 20 of 20, but cannot remember. I'm going to have to rewatch that video. So this car may have made it in one of my cuts already, uh, either for 2020, definitely not the first quarter, but my 2020 lineup, maybe the black one did make it. But anyways, this is what we have left. So you can let me know what you think should have made it, or even that 280 SCL or the E46 that I happened to part with. Uh, as I said, those would have been sitting out here if I would not have parted with them recently. Actually, the E46 just left today, but I just ordered the blue one today to replace it. So it's not that I'm a hater on the E46, just I couldn't get over those turquoise rims. So guys, uh, I will be back this weekend for our Independence Day special, so make sure you tune back in for that. I left the link here for our first quarter finals, so you can take a look at that. It's here on the left. There's an icon here on the right for you to subscribe if you have not done yet. Please remember to give me a thumbs up, share the video, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, guys.